So it's like 8.30, we came down to filter water down here at the dock and drank coffee. There was one of these headless fish out here yesterday when I jumped in. And now I see there's a couple otters out here. I'm thinking they're the ones doing that. I'm gonna wait for them to come back up so I can film them. So we got chilly morning breakfast and good gravy morning David's version. All right, so we're about packed up. Let's see finishing up. Um, we're gonna have a rougher day today uh, in terms of hiking, about six and a half miles. We're gonna hike up this trail right here. Kind of goes along there up into that. Uh, <clears throat> up to Mount Ojibwe. It's really just a big hill. Some day hikers did it yesterday. They day hiked it and we talked to them and they said there's two big hills between here and there. You gotta go up and down, up and down. So we're gonna be doing some elevation gain today, definitely. And then we're gonna hike along the ridge, which we don't know what that trail looks like, how rough it is, and then come back down after we go to Mount Franklin. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the other thing is the sky has totally become overcast. It sprinkled for a second or two there while we were making breakfast and whatnot. So we might get rained on. It's a little bit nippy, a little chilly out here, not, not terrible. Um, the other thing is, there's allegedly an orange fox running around out here, but I've been watching hard, looking for him. He hasn't visited us yet. <clears throat> um, I guess the last comments you have here is on the shelter. We never stayed in the shelter before. And I would say, the only downside I see to it is that it, um, when you're in a tent, your breath kind of warms up the tent a little bit. That doesn't happen in here because this wall is entirely screen. So it got kind of chilly, as expected. The only thing I worried about a little bit is maybe a mouse getting in here. But this place is really sealed up. It's really good shape. There's no holes. There's no mouse droppings. So maybe that's just me. Because I saw this little gap under the door. And I had an experience a couple weeks ago with a mouse in the kitchen who went under a gap about that size under the dishwasher or he attempted to i got a hold of his tail just before he got under there but uh, other than that yeah these things are pretty nice as a place to stay um comes with this nice table this does stop the rain so we were able to sit there yesterday when it was raining a little bit so yeah hopefully when we get to day or no we're going to three mile campground tonight hopefully we'll find one of these, but if not, we'll just we'll just sleep in the tent. No big deal. Um, yeah. So I guess that's it. We're gonna head out and get sweaty. Final words, Misty. Um, yeah. So far, this trip has been amazing. Hopefully, we'll see a moose and an otter. Oh yeah. We got to the top of the first hill. There's the second one we gotta climb up. Wasn't too bad coming up, huh? No. Trail's a little rough, you can see. In the climbs, it's kind of rough. But once we were on top, it was just totally flat and level and even and nice. So that's what we're hoping we'll find when we get up there. And then we hike along that for like three miles, two and a half, something. I believe that is our objective. That fire tower. So we just climbed over two hills, can, can confirm that. There's two hills before you get to the big one. It's right there in front of us. We gotta go down again. Time for a water break. This is the highest boardwalk we've had to cross and one of those beams out there is kinda loose. And there's obstacles in the way, whatever that is. She comes. I haven't had any trouble with the balance on any of these until 
I'm out there where it mattered and all of a sudden it's there's the shaky one. That one's shaky, right? <laughs> you can see it's tilted. Oh boy. It kinda makes you dizzy. Yeah. But you don't dare look up. Fall colors. Certainly coming out. There it is. There it is. So is that a bad thing? Uh, I gotta go get the pictures. Okay, I can't go any higher. Here's the view. It's the far side of the island that we haven't even seen. That's Canada over there. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm afraid of heights. Yeah, there's some big hills over there. Canada. So, yeah, you can see real clearly where we we landed up there, kind of where you can see that gap in the water in the islands, and that's what we hiked was all all the way down that coast, and then whoosh, up here. keeps going, it's 45 miles long. I can't see the edge of it that way. I don't think I can, oh I can't even see uh, without Michigan, Wisconsin, whatever. Way over there, there's a hill. Barely visible. And now, we're gonna head off that way. It's supposed to be, I think, a higher peak over there. But I don't see it, maybe not. Mount Franklin. There's where we came from, Daisy Farm, 1.7 miles, Mount Franklin, Junction 2.8. Time of the year. The color of that what? It's green, like teal. That's amazing. All the colors out here, it's amazing. Also up here on the hill, it's we're going between these wooded sections. Some places the bushes are coming in on all sides. Other places were out totally exposed on those rocks. A lot of variety up here. Not a tough tip, not a tough trail at all up here though. A little ups and downs, but you can see it's not. It's not difficult to walk down this trail. But there's some other things I've been thinking I meant to say to the camera and I want to say it so I have it on record for for we know for the future. One, there's no no Verizon cell coverage up here at all. Like none. I've checked it all over the island where we've been and we got no coverage. Which means the downside there is we can't check the weather, so we really don't know what's coming. Um, so it was good to get on the hill back up there in the tower and look and see that there's no rain coming imminently. Um, the second thing is apparently I'm the only person in the world that calls this place Isle Royale. Everybody else calls it Isle Royal. So I'm gonna say that. The 
his lunch. Another one of these. Mail packet. And a lot of our. Show what you got there, Misty. It's a beef stick and a beef cheese stick. stick. And cheese. Hold on, I got the doing a bad job here. You're putting it in there. You put it in the air and then you wrap it up. And you dip it in that marinara sauce. Yeah. I, I dip because it's messy. You dip it. Oh, rather than pouring it in there? Yeah. Okay. All right. Is it tasty? It's tasty out in the trail. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Lunch is over and we're headed back down that way. So we are just thundering our way down this mountainside here, this hillside, um, making good time, which is good, because I've got this newfangled uh, affl affliction, I never, I guess I'm naming it shelter anxiety, where I'm not sure we're going to find a shelter or even a campsite at the campground we're headed to. It's getting a little rough here. Because uh, I didn't know until during lunch just now, Misty told me that the shuttle, the ferry, the ferry that brought us out here, this time of year it only comes Monday and Friday. I thought it was daily. So that means everybody on the island that's trying to get on that ferry is headed there now. Because that's tomorrow. And there's only two campgrounds over in that part of the island. And they're both kind of small. And it's like, we're going to get there about 3, 3, 3.30 I think, at this rate. So I'm not sure if we're actually going to find a place to camp at the campground, but we can make it work because you can camp year-round, not, not year-round, but certain times of the year, including now, almost the entire island is available for what they call cross-country camping, where you can just camp out here in the woods. So we might be doing that if it comes to it. Um, there's a map with zones of where you're allowed to do that. It's most of the island, really, except the populated areas around the ferries at each end of the island. So we're kind of, I'm kind of hoofing it down this hill, trying to get there. Don't want to rush Misty at the same time. Um, but, yeah, shelter anxiety is real. And I should add that the reason I am really keen on camping at the campground is because of those outhouses. I hate pooping in the woods. Just hate it. That looks like a beaver house, maybe? Maybe it once was? Still is? I don't know. Ah. Uh. I dare say some beavers cut that tree down. I don't know, I've never seen that before. Just like in a cartoon, yeah. I'm not really sure where the trail goes. I think that's Tobin Bay, I think that's what it's called. It's like a dirt track going that way. I feel like I see dirt down there. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, there's the trail marker. Piles of rocks. And it looked like the trail goes that way, but there's branches. There's misty, but look at this. I think that's a moose print. You see him? I don't see him. It's heading to the woods. has pointed out this would be Bug City in June or July, but we haven't seen any bugs. We've had no mosquitoes, no black flies. I haven't swatted a single bug the whole time we've been out here, so mid-September, 
at least as far as the black flies and mosquitoes go. It's a sweet spot. Wow. This just keeps going. Oh. Oh, I thought maybe. Wow. That's pretty interesting. I pulled me off the trail. It's so stand out remarkable. All right. One final push. We got to go up and over this hill. And then we'll find out if we're camping at the campground or not. You ready? Okay. Look at that. That's a pile of mushrooms. I don't even know if they all grew there. Somebody put them there. Oh. Okay. Look at this. Our home for the night. Yeah. So this one is at the very end of the row on this end, and I was coming down the trail. Oh, there's a picnic bench over here, Misty. Holy cow. Look at that view. This is where we're going to eat dinner. Oh, that's where I'm going to get in the water. And there was a guy, I came down the trail and I saw a guy looking at it, and then he just turned around and started going back up that way. I was like, oh no, that guy's going to get it. So I just went there and sat down. Sure enough, after I was sitting there, he showed up again with his backpack. But as soon as he saw me, he turned around and walked away. So that's how close we were. Wow. I basically ran almost the last five mile or half mile because of my anxiety. And it paid off. We're going to be indoors tonight. Yeah, look at that. Look at this perfect spot for coffee in the morning. I'm going to be drinking my coffee with this view. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all right. This is very unlike you, David. I, I need to count. Okay. Hurry, Three. I can't do it. Huh. I'm going to stop the video because you're struggling. <laughs> I'm... Is he filming right now? Yeah. Action. Three, two, one, dunk. Okay. This is the coldest bath I've ever taken. Isn't that your P-Rag? Well, it was going to be, but <laughs> I'm not peed on this. This is clean. Okay. Yeah, let's see sitting there in the water with all her clothes on. It has become a washcloth. <laughs> Alright, so Misty's making dinner here inside the shelter. Nice view. What do we got tonight, Misty? Awesome backwoods chili. Uh, it doesn't look like much in the video here. And Misty's bonus meal. <laughs> What's that, Misty? Oh, it's chicken and stovetop stuffing. Nice. Mm -hmm. I got my chair. So, we're going to eat dinner and then probably go to bed. We're both really beat from the hike today. It was really good. It was a really good hike. Um, oh, and the guy I thought I stole this, kind of stole the shelter from, I was feeling bad about that, but we found him down the trail. He's got a different shelter, so he was just trying to move in on this one, even though he had one, like to upgrade. So, everybody's got a space, as far as we could tell tonight. So, my shelter anxiety was maybe unwarranted, but yeah. At least we got a good spot. So tomorrow we've got to be at the ferry at 2 o'clock for a 2.45 departure, checking at 2. So we've got plenty of time. We're going to go for a hike probably over to the Tobin, is it Tobin Basin, is it called? Tobin Lake? Yeah. Just we got to hike over this hill and then it's an alternate path down this peninsula, which is apparently much faster because it's much smoother and, and, and flat. So we'll see something different and get back. Uh, to Rock Harbor even faster, so that's the plan for tomorrow.